Welcome to Life Bites Mindful Mondays. I'm life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And in today's grounding session, we're gonna help you get centered, cleared, and connected. Let's get started. From the base of your spine down to the center of the earth, we're going to create a grounding cord. And this grounding cord is in the form of a tree trunk. It's very strong and fortifying. And we're going to take the roots of that grounding cord and really anchor ourselves to Mother Earth, to ourselves, to our essence, to who we are. And with each breath, breathing in, breathing out. You can feel the strength and yet the lightness of your breath. And as we take the roots of that grounding cord to anchor ourselves to Mother Earth, we're going to release everything that no longer serves us. Letting go of the past, for the past is just a memory. And letting go of the future, for the future does not exist yet. And we're in the here and now, present time. And with each breath, in and out, breathing in. Breathing out, you become lighter and lighter. Take another nice big deep breath. And let's come up to your sixth chakra. And in your sixth chakra, you're going to create a circle of light. And in that circle of light is a circle of yellow roses. And those yellow roses represent your true sunshine spirit, where your personality and your higher self are working hand in hand. A circle of pink roses all around you, representing love and compassion for yourself as well as the outside world. And now let's create a circle of red divine roses that represent protection from anything that is not of your own energy. All of the heaviness, all of the worry, all of the stress, all of it making happen, all of it goes on the outside of your space. And take a nice big deep breath. Let's take another nice big deep breath as this breath represents the opening up of all that lightness with the exhale of any stress, any worry, any heaviness. 
And now as we focus in on our sixth chakra, about two feet out, we're going to create a movie screen. And let's put your life today on that movie screen. You're gonna say hello to the lightness of being. Light on your feet, dancing with life. You are becoming the observer, the witness. You're watching the energy versus becoming the energy. Say hello to your opportunities this week. What opportunities do you have? And can you cultivate an energy of lightness around what you're creating? The opportunities that are already coming in and the ones that you're seeking. Say hello to your challenges. Take a nice big deep breath. And on the exhale of that breath, I'd like you to release the heaviness of any challenge you may have. You're becoming lighter with your challenges. You're dancing with your challenges. Moving across the dance floor of life. Now let's say hello to your blessings. What blessings do you have? Lightness. Love. Laughter. Fun. beautiful, magical energy that washes over all of your life, all of your body, mind, emotions, and spirit. Now let us check in. Physically, I'd like you to ask yourself, how do I feel physically? See what lights up. Don't try to change it. Just open up to the awareness of where your body may feel a little heavy, may be a little tight, and give it a golden light to lighten up that energy. Anything that's more constrictive, with each breath, you're moving into flow. Give it a green energy for healing and pink energy for love. And just envision your whole entire body filled with lightness of gold and green and pink flowing throughout your body with ease and with grace. And now let us affirm in our physical body, health, vitality, strength, and flow. Health, vitality, strength, and flow. Take a nice big deep breath. And as you tune into your breath, you're tuning into the lightness of being. Come up to the center of your head 
and create that golden light in the center of your head, getting bigger and brighter. It's dancing in the flow of energy, clearing the slate of your mind. Any fogginess, any incoherence, any worry energy, any of that heaviness of life is moving down through your grounding cord and being soaked up with this golden light, allowing you to feel lighter and brighter. And now let us affirm in your mental energies, I am alert, receptive, productive, present and light. Once again, I am alert, receptive, productive, present and light. You don't have to force anything. You don't have to make it happen. You're dancing through life with ease and grace, lightness, magical, playful, and light. Take a nice big deep breath all the way up to your crown chakra and all the way back down to the bottom of your belly and back into your heart space. Say hello to your feelings. Anything you may be feeling, waking up, going to bed, wherever you're listening to this, in this lightness of where you are. You're becoming aware of any heaviness you may be feeling. Don't try to change it right now. Just become aware. And now we're going to affirm the energetic intentions, the emotions you would like to feel in order to create that lightness. Moving through life not in resistance. You're moving into the frequency of lightness, being able to manifest easily and effortlessly. I'll give you three emotions and you can add on to them in order to create this lightness. I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and once again, I feel loved, supported, nurtured, and Take a nice, big, deep breath. Oh. And come up to your seventh chakra. And we're gonna move on up to our 11th, 12th chakras. And in this frequency, it is just light. In this frequency, there's grace. In this frequency, there's a flow of energy. Match the frequency and life is a dance. So feel yourself plugging in to yourself, to the divine, to your loved ones, to the world. 
and let's say hello to our loved ones on the other side as well as our spirit guides and teachers and angels along with God helping us in this lightness of being. What is heavy in your mind, in your heart, in your soul that still needs to be released in order for you to feel light on your feet? Ask your divinity, your more divine self, the God of your heart to help you in an area of your life in which you need to be more light. Do you have one area or multiple areas that you need to lighten your load? Ask for help and support in which you can take a nice big deep breath and let it go. Envision a golden light, the warmth of that light on your face as you're floating down the river of life with ease and grace, ease and grace, ease and grace. Take a nice, big, deep breath. Mm. Put your hand on your heart and let's think and feel three things that you are grateful for and really feel them in your heart. What are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? And now let's send some light to somebody who may need it, including yourself. And now let's bring down a beautiful golden sun of light coming down through the heavens, coming down through that crown chakra into your sixth, igniting that sense of intuition, opening up that energy, light and bright as it moves down into your throat chakra, creating your sense of expression, the truth and authenticity coming down through your heart, igniting love, support, nurturing, and whatever else you'd like to feel in order to create that lightness of being, feeling that golden light moving down through your third into your solar plexus, Igniting your power, igniting your ability to manifest with ease and grace as it moves down into your second chakra, saying hello to the pleasure of life, the fun of life, 
creating easy breezy as it moves back down into your first chakra, the foundation of life, that root. You're safe. Say to yourself, I am safe. I am love as it moves back down and through your legs creating that strength and flexibility down through your calves into your feet wiggle your toes say hello to your fun fairies as they will help you today and this week become lighter and brighter as it moves back down into Mother Earth, say to yourself, all is well, life is good, and everything is moving forward exactly as it should be. Take a nice big deep breath. Mm. Release. Now that you are grounded, cleared, and connected, let's move on to this week's message and life theme. So let's talk about becoming light, light on your feet. What exactly does that mean? Well, just doing the grounding you could probably feel in your own energy field where the heaviness in your life is coming from. Worrying about what you need to get done, what still hasn't been done, what has been done, but it can't get undone. These things that we carry, we carry people's responsibility pictures that are not yours. We worry about our loved ones. We worry about this world and it becomes heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. So part of this message this week is how can you create this lightness of being to match the frequency so that you can create more and more. When we become heavy, we become more worried about our challenges. And the challenge with that is the more challenged we become, the more heavy we become. And we lose that lightness. We become pressured. We become, we start to grip. We start to make it happen. Instead of creating the frequency that will help you create from a place of joy, lightness, and grace. It's in that movement of flow that things start to happen. Do you notice that when you let go, truly let go, something comes in? Can't tell you how many times in my Maryland project that I have moved into make it happen, grip, gotta just get this thing done energy. And it stops the flow. Now, there's nothing wrong with a focused, determined energy. As long as it's in alignment with your frequency. So the key is to get into the frequency and then get into action. But if we get into action without the frequency, we may get into resistance to that lightness of being. So what I'd like you to do, whether you write it down or you become more mentally aware of this, what area in your life needs to lighten up? Is it overall, your whole being needs to lighten up? Is there specific areas? I know for myself, I can pick out two areas in which I have been carrying more of a heavy load. 
And so bringing this into more of a lightness, a flow, allows me to let go and get into my own rhythm again. But here's the thing. We've got to be able to trust that the universe has our back. And if energetically, not mentally, but energetically, I don't trust that, it's going to be harder and harder for me to let go. But if you think about it, think about when you're on an airplane, get on an airplane, you might feel a little nervous. Some people are just terrified. But let's just say you feel a little nervous and then you take off and you go, that's what we're creating in our lives, where you might have that tingle, ooh, what's going to happen? But we come back to present. We come back to that lightness. So for each of you, what I'd like you to do is close your eyes. And I'd like you to think about that heavy feeling that you have situation or experience you're having in your own life, whether it's a big heaviness or a little heaviness, it could be just a worry energy. Just bring it to mind. And what I'd like you to do is envision that's outside of your space now. I'm going to put it in a red rose whatever that worry energy is. And you're going to envision that this rose is letting go. And right before your eyes, this rose is turning into a balloon. And the balloon is becoming lighter and lighter and floating off as if you do not have a care in the world. Take a nice big deep breath. Mm. And say to yourself, I am lighter, I am brighter, I am moving through life with flow and grace. I'm open to my experiences. I'm light on my feet as I dance in this journey, in this adventure called life. Take a nice big deep breath. Mm, release and open your eyes. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Mindful Mondays. Be sure to join us this Friday for another episode of Life Bites as we get you inspired in the areas of life, business, and media. I'm your host, life, business, and energy coach, Nina Bosky. And remember, until next time, sometimes in order to speed up, you've got to learn how to slow down.